hello guys welcome back to another interesting video in this web development in this video we are going to clone apple iphone's calculator as you can see here we have a similar look of that calculator and we have a functionality for this one as well this one can be used in your native mobile applications or any websites or in any web applications so let's see how we can create this one using simple html css and javascript for that one let me have basic structure of html first and i will give a name as calculator first step is let me create one div this represents the calculator's container within this one first let me add our first button that is output button and initially we have set the value of this one to zero next let me create a div for our button where we have a lot of buttons here so for that one let me create one div container and i will name and i will give a class for that one by name buttons within this one first let me add clear button here here we have defined on click event handler and assigned a function by name clear output later point of time we are going to use this function and write a logic to clear the value of this calculator similarly let me add another button toggle sign which will help us to add plus or minus symbol to the current value and similarly we have defined another function by name toggle sign we are going to write logic for this one as well similarly i am going to add another button by name percentage next add divide button and similarly add other buttons as well as you can see here we have added other buttons as well like multiplication numbers and all the buttons which are necessary for a calculator if you save this one you can see we got all the buttons still we need to give the look for this calculator let's customize this one first add a style element within which we are going to add css styles the first style element which we are going to add is for body here we have defined the font family arial and added background color and other properties like text should be like display flex justify content and align items d3 code helps us to center the content vertically and horizontally this will set the body height to cover the entire viewport and margin zero removes if there is any default margin next we'll add some properties for this calculator for that one let me add class calculator we are going to set the background color of this calculator to black and set a border radius of 10 pixel which gives us the round corners to the calculator and added a box shadow a bit then a padding of 20 pixels which adds space inside the calculator then this piece of code aligns the text inside the calculator to the right and we have set up the width of this calculator to 350 pixels and as these are buttons when we click on buttons the numbers can be selected so we are preventing that one by using user select none now you can observe background color is applied to this calculator next start customizing the individual elements first we are going to customize this output for that one let me add a class here we are going to define font size of 64 pixels and the content color to white and we are going to add some margin at the bottom next let's add some properties to the buttons we are going to add a property by name display grid which will set the display property a grid layout and this will define a grid with four equal width columns then between those grids we are adding 10 pixel cap next we are going to add classes for these buttons for that one let me add a css properties first we are setting the font size to 32 pixel then we are adding some padding inside the buttons then we are removing the border by using border none and we are adding some border radius here so that these buttons looks in circular format and current cursor you can observe it's not of cursor type that is the default type which we have now we are changing that one by using cursor pointer then sets the color of these buttons to white by using color css property then we have added smooth transition effect for background color and text color changes now you can see buttons are appearing round in shape next let's add some hover effect for these buttons as well we have added background color and color for hover effect so now if you see when i move so on the buttons we are getting the properties which we have applied here next let's define properties for some special buttons here like equal and other button as you can see here for into minus plus and equals we have defined that one 
for these buttons we are going to add some on hover color as well so it will be the similar color but with a bit difference so when we mouse over on that one we are going to change the color of the text and the background even more and usually this zero button will have double spacing than these individual buttons so for that one we have defined a class here by the rectangular button for that one we'll add some properties we'll change the border radius of this one to 35 pixels so that it will look bit different than other buttons and we have defined another property for this zero button that is double white button so that by using this property we are providing two spans of space to this button and the text within this one we are aligning it to left now you can observe this button occupies two space and for this equal button we are going to add a style of grid column one span which will occupy one column space next for these buttons clear toggle sign and percentage we are going to define the properties for this we are going to add some background color and text color next for this divide button which we have defined let's add some property add the background color to orange and the final thing in the CSS we are going to do is we need to update the color of these buttons for that one let me add the CSS property by background color to button so here this piece of code adds styles for buttons with data action attribute is set to number now you can see we got the similar look and feel of Apple iPhone's calculator but it is not yet functional for that one we are going to use JavaScript to add JavaScript scroll down and after these divisions before the body let me add script tag first let me add a variable here by name output value with a value which is set to 0 this variable will store the current input and output of this calculator then we are going to define a function by name update output this update output function is defined to update the content of the element with id output that is nothing but the final output which we are going to show it here that is a calculator output next we are going to define another function by name append to output this append to output function takes a value as an argument and appends it to output value here it checks whether the output value is currently zero and if the value is not a decimal point if so it replaces zero with the new value otherwise it depends on the value of the existing output value so this value which we are going to get it here we are using that one in the output value which we are defining so we are going to call that function on each update of these values then we are going to define a function clear output this function will be called when we click on this ac button it will clear the value of this calculator by using this output value is equals to zero so whenever we are updating this value to zero we are calling this update output function so that it will display zero in the calculator's output then we are going to add another function by name calculate this function attempts to evaluate the current output value as a mathematical expression using eval function the evaluation is successful it converts the result to a string and updates it to output value if there is an error during this evaluation it sets this output value to error finally we are going to set another function that, that is toggle sign this toggle sign function is responsible for changing the sign of the number which is displayed on the calculator it checks if output value is not zero it multiplies the numeric value by minus one which we have defined here using the logical expression it then converts to a string and updates it in the output by using the same method these all functions we have called to the respective buttons here by using these on click event handlers that's it now if you save this file and refresh the browser you can see we have a functional calculator with similar look of iPhone's calculator you can customize this one according to your requirement and integrate into your web application websites or any mobile application that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more coding tutorials